A ventricular septal defect is another example of an acyanotic uh, heart defect. Again, we have an example over here uh, on the right side. Uh, we'll note that uh, there's a defect in the ventricle and blood will flow down the pressure gradient from the left ventricle uh, into the right ventricle. So this, uh, again, similarly to uh, ASD, it's due to a failure of the interventricular septum to close. Uh, and a really high yield concept is that a VSD is the most common overall uh, type of uh, congenital heart defect. And uh, if you're talking about a patient with Down syndrome, it's also the most common uh, type of congenital heart defect in a Down syndrome patient. And uh, we know that Down syndrome patients uh, do tend to have uh, a variety of different uh, congenital heart defects. And uh, what are we going to hear on physical exam for these patients? Uh, we're going to hear a harsh uh, holosystolic murmur in the tricuspid area. Again, uh, the left ventricle is a much more uh, high pressure uh, chamber compared to the left atrium. So if we're comparing a VSD to an ASD, uh, the volume of a VSD will generally be louder because there's more uh, pressure uh, pushing the blood through the defect. And another uh, concept you should be aware of is how to correlate the volume of the murmur uh, with the size of the defect. So uh, again, uh, we have an example of a relatively small uh, defect in the in the picture right here. So you imagine that uh, when the blood is flowing down the pressure gradient, there's a lot of uh, turbulence of blood uh, flowing through this small area, and that turbulence will cause uh, a louder murmur. Whereas if we now think of uh, another example of a, maybe a larger defect uh, that encompasses more of the interventricular septum, uh, blood will flow uh, much more easily uh, through that defect and uh, will cause less turbulence and as a result will be quieter. So actually, um, you should be aware of the fact that a quieter uh, VSD murmur is actually uh, a bigger VSD and a worse prognosis. So these patients, again, ECHO is the gold standard for workup. And similarly to an ASD, um, you have deoxygenated blood uh, flowing from the left side of the heart to the right side of the heart. So you have a increased uh, O2 saturation in the right ventricle and pulmonary artery. Similarly to ASDs, most will resolve spontaneously uh, and they have the same indications for surgery as well.